666. Yeah, we're still watching him, and we've got a better view of him now, as you can see. And he's still watching what's going on. Now, the other guides told me that they saw a warthog run this way. And there, I can actually see the warthog running away now. It's just in front of us. So, let's see if he's going to try and reposition. The warthogs are not too far. They may be 50 meters in front of us. There's a big, tall tree, and that's where they sort of underneath. You can see that tree there. Just at the base of that is where I saw the tail of the warthog going through. You can see, here he comes. That's about as close as you're ever going to get in terms of a male lion. He's just come trotting right past us and he's definitely intent on hunting these warthogs. Now warthogs for a male lion would be a perfect meal. Henny, I couldn't agree more. A kill in the mist would be something quite unbelievable. And he's definitely very interested. Now, I don't want to move because the warthogs themselves are very close. And we're going to make too much noise if we try to crash through. And that's going to mean that our male lion is going to be disturbed. But he's running. I can see he's running quite fast. So let's try and see if we can't catch up with him. I don't know if he started chasing. But he's definitely going very quickly towards wherever those warthogs were. The warthogs were trotting sort of from my right to left. And the male line just took off at speed through this thicket. So I don't know if he's decided to chase from here now. But isn't this exciting? Going through mist like this with a lion hunting. It's all very epic. Here he is, he's in front of us. So if we just stay still here, we might get a really good view of what's going on. I'm just going to go through this little gap. And then we're going to be able to see, hopefully, both Warthog and Lion. Now, the Warthogs were somewhere on my right. There's our male Lion there. He's just on the left-hand side. He's just coming through there now. And you can see he's looking straight towards that tree. Here's the Warthog. I can see the Warthog just in front. Wait, White Lady Eon, you're saying definitely in Sukho, but here are the Warthogs just in front of me on my right-hand side. He's probably about 50 meters from the Warthogs at the moment. So let's see what's going to happen here. He's positioned himself really well, and he's going into stalking mode, and he's going to try and see if he can't get a little bit closer. Now, with male lions, unlike something like a cheetah, he's not going to be able to run as fast. And so his distance from him to the warthog has got to be that much closer. And he's going to try and stalk as close as possible and use thickets like what you see now where he's behind to try and then get closer towards these warthogs that are just in this area. But let's just see trying to see I can't see the warthogs anymore they didn't run but they're somewhere close by here now there he goes you can see he's striding through the bush now there he goes see he's watching isn't this amazing this is most definitely the best way to start a day ever this is so cool now I'm a bit hesitant to go to my right because I don't want to push those warthogs at all. So I'm going to just let it play out a little bit and just see where he goes from here. As long as we can still kind of see his nose. Has he gone further, Ferg? Okay. Let's just try and creep a little bit forward. As long as I can, if I can see the warthogs, then I'll be able to know where they are and not disturb them. You got him? Okay, he's just in front here. Is he running again? So Ferg is like my eyes when I'm trying to look for the warthogs. He's keeping an eye on the male lion. And that's helping us to be able to at least stay in contact with all of these animals. But I don't know where these warthogs have gone. I think warthogs know something is up. Obviously with the vehicles being around, they probably think there must be something going on. But I don't think they can actually see the male lion itself. Because if they did, they would definitely run. So, Riti, you want to know how many days a lion can go hungry for? Well, lions can probably last without a meal if they've had a really good meal and then they sort of go through without a meal probably about two weeks at the most. That by then will be absolutely emaciated, but generally we find our lions hunting almost every three days. That's normally kind of what they do. Now, I can see him just in front of us still running, so I'm just going to try and... can hear our alarm calling there he's running I'm gonna try and get catch up with him he's definitely chasing those warthogs 
He went full speed. I saw him launching into this area. As soon as the Franklins started to alarm call, he then started to really run a lot faster and he went into this thicket. Now, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through here. Now, it would have been nicer if he had decided to do this on quarantine because then we wouldn't have had to worry as much. But here is incredibly difficult to follow him. I'm struggling to actually get around and get through to where he went to, but he darted into this thicket at full speed. Right, I'm going to try and see if I can't relocate him. So while I do that, let's go across to Bar and see where he is and what he's up to. Well, no, the male lion has run and we can't find him. He's gone into this horrible thicket and it's become really really difficult to see where he is there's lots of trenches and dips all over the place here and it really is not easily sort of navigable by a vehicle so we're really trying our very best to try and find where he's gone I think he carried on chasing these warthogs over the road and into this thicket but let's see maybe we can find him I'm trying to listen for Franklin's alarm calling or any sort of sign that he's still moving as what we heard just now we heard when he was running along Franklin kind of making a noise and so I'm trying to see if he's somewhere in here I'm pretty sure he's going to pop out at some point the way that he was walking this morning is not sort of going to slow down at any time and if he misses the warthogs I'm pretty sure he's going to carry on so I'll just try and see if I can't go a little bit slower up the road and just check around here very carefully. Um, it's difficult to see even tracks here though. It's a very hard section that we're on and it's not that easy to be able to find tracks at all. Now I do apologize if anybody heard any expletives earlier. We were trying to get through a thicket and so I do apologize if you did. I'm sorry about that. Now here is the last visual I saw of him is inside this now you can see that is not possible to negotiate with a vehicle at all and he was walking well running through this way sort of going in a more northwesterly direction and so I'm just trying to see if maybe he's not just standing somewhere here where we can see him the problem is is as we saw just now was that he was moving so fast that the more the longer we don't find him the harder it's going to be to actually get sort of into the area that he was so he kind of came down from that area through like this and so I'm thinking that he must have crossed into this thicket and that's why we can't find him anymore and it's not going to be easy to negotiate anywhere in this area I might try and see if I can't just go in here and go around this sort of thicket and see So Oscar, you're wondering how big a lion's territory is. Well, it's about, it depends really on the density of other lions. So when you've got a lot of lions in one area, then you're gonna find that the territories are going to be smaller because there's gonna be a lot more competition. Now I can hear a few Franklins in front. They're not really alarm calling, but let's just go and see. They're making quite a bit of noise. So you never know. Um, so it depends on the density. So the, the territory here in the Sabi Sands, we've got quite a high density of male lions. So their territories aren't as big as what you would see in other parts of the world. And so the territories here are roughly, I would say, about 10,000 hectares, which is about 20,000 acres. So somewhere in that sort of vicinity is how big their territories are here. Um, if you go into other parts, into sort of desert areas like in Namibia some of those areas don't have a high density of lions and their territories can be up to a hundred thousand hectares or two hundred thousand acres so it just depends on the area itself that you sort of been able to look right now we're going to send you two and a half thousand kilometers or well miles should I say all the way to Brent Leo Smith and maybe he can tell us a little bit more about the lion territories up there how big the males have that side There we go, look at that, a Mara monster meandering upstream.